Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I am going to summarize Genesis chapter 22, where God tested Abraham with a great test. Sometime later, when Isaac was likely a teenager, God called for Abraham. Abraham answered. God said, take your son, whom you love, Isaac, and sacrifice him as a burnt offering on a mountain I will show you. Early the next morning, Abraham got up and loaded his donkey with wood and took Isaac and two of his servants. Then they set out for the mountain God told him about. They traveled for many days. On the third day, Abraham looked and saw the mountain where he was to kill his son. He told his servants to stay with the donkey and he would go up the mountain with Isaac. Abraham made Isaac carry the wood, but he carried the fire and the knife. As they walked on, Isaac spoke up. He was wondering something. He asked his dad where the lamb for the sacrifice was. Abraham, I'm sure, cried a little while he told Isaac that God would provide the lamb. Then they continued on. When they reached the place that God told Abraham about, he stopped and built an altar there and arranged the wood. Then he grabbed his son, tied him up, and put Isaac on top of the wood pile. His son looked at him in fear when he raised the knife to the sky. Suddenly, there was a voice from heaven saying, Stop! The Lord yelled for Abraham, telling him not to lay a hand on the boy. The Lord said, Now I know you fear me, and you have not even held back your only son whom you love. Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught by its horns in a thicket and substituted it for his son. After he killed and burned the ram, Abraham called that place the Lord will provide. To this day, there is a saying, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. The Lord again called to Abraham and said, I swear by myself because you have done this and have not withheld the son you love, I will surely bless you and make your descendants great. They will take possession of their enemies' cities. All nations on earth will be blessed because you obeyed me. Then Abraham returned to his servants and they went back to Beersheba. There's a small off-topic paragraph in the Bible here where Moses listed off Abraham's nephews. One of note was Bethuel, who was Rebekah's father. This is important because Rebekah would be Isaac's wife. The most important verse in this chapter is Genesis 22, 8, which states, And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went, both of them together. God did indeed provide a lamb for Abraham, and he provided a lamb for the rest of us as well. The lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is the fact that Abraham obeyed God even when he thought it was going to be painful. We see in other passages of scripture what Abraham was thinking. He understood and believed that God could do anything he wants at any time he wants. And Abraham knew that God told him that through Isaac, the promises would be fulfilled. So Abraham reasoned that God was going to raise Isaac from the dead somehow and resurrect him. We also see what God was thinking from other passages of Scripture. God saw Abraham's faith and obedience and said he credited that to Abraham as righteousness. A younger Abraham lied and deceived people because he didn't trust that God would protect him. Now, however, Abraham was willing to give it all away and he surrendered it all. We would do well to emulate the more mature Abraham. Have you ever surrendered your life to the Lord? Repent for your sin and turn to Jesus for salvation today so you don't have to pay the price yourself. Trust that God provided the lamb to take away your sin. God loves you and he wants you to accept his free gift. Ask the Lord to forgive you and save you. He wants to give you his perfection. Trust that what Jesus did on the cross was to pay for your sin ransom and believe that the Father raised Jesus from the dead. Make the choice to be saved today. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with somebody. See you next time.